what's up? Hello, my name is Kylie and welcome to my shit show. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day get ready with me look for you guys. I already filmed this video like two times and I tried to edit it and it was too long and there was a whole technical issue transporting the video to the computer to edit it and it just... I can't. So here I am today for the third time refilming it for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. If you want to see what I'm about to create, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm actually going to be a girl today and prime my face, which I forgot to do in my last get ready with me. So I'm going to use my super dirty professional. So my red lip liner cap fell off in my makeup bag and literally fell um, all over everything in there and ruined it. So that's why this is dirty and I just have been lazy and haven't cleaned it yet. But I'm just going to use like this much. And I have my mirror over here. This is where I'm the most oily at. So I'm just really going in on those right there. Alright, so moving on to foundation, I'm going to be mixing two together today. Last time I just used my Milani one, but um, I realized um, that it's actually just a little bit too dark for me, so I use this Rimmel London one underneath it, and I used to use a different foundation by Rimmel London, but they discontinued it, and I'm super bummed out about it, but... Um, also, my energy is low, honey, because it is like 8 in the morning, and I am so tired. But I woke up early to film this before work, so. <laughs> so I just grabbed that one, but it's really lightweight, and it's really watery, and it does, it's not, it's not full coverage, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I use this first because it's lighter, and then I go in with the Milani one over it afterwards, and then that kind of makes, like, the perfect skin color for me, I feel. But also, I just also think that nothing man-made is going to be able to create every single skin tone because there's levels of skin tone and then there's like textures and tones and stuff. Like I have yellow tones down here, but my face seems to be a little bit more pink because of like acne scarring. So there's so many things that play into the perfect foundation. Just your tone or the level of your skin is not going to work. So you kind of do have to mix things together and you're never going to have the perfect thing. So just kind of accept that and move on. Also, I'm filming on a camera today instead of my iPhone, which I usually film on, so if there's like sounds, if it's trying to um, focus on me. I don't know what's going on, so I really am praying to God that this video works out, but yeah, sorry if there's any like weird stuff. I'm trill. I'm, I'm trill. <laughs> I'm still trying to like figure out and perfect how I want to film and what I want to use for different videos and stuff like that, so just bear with me for the moment. Yeah. So, disregard literally everything I just said because my camera batteries died and I can't find more batteries. So, now I'm filming on my freaking phone again and I'm just going to hope and pray that this transfers this time and I'm just going to have to break this video down in shorter sections. So, hi, back to my foundation. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to move on to the Milani one. Alright, moving on, I'm going to take my um, Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. Hold on, let me get up there. Oop. No, my Hard Candy Concealer. Gosh, I'm sorry. Like I said, it's really early. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so now that I am, you know, concealed, I am going to take my Stay Matte um, Loose Powder from the last video and just do the same old thing. These lights are brighter than my future around me, my goodness. <laughs> I really wish I was neater with my makeup so that my top lip didn't just absolutely disappear, but you know. <laughs> Moving on again, I'm going to take my rinkity dinkity little <laughs> elf brush that's broken and duct taped back together and I'm going to use my Fit Me powder that I use for contour and it is 320 Natural Tan. Um, I think I said that in the last video. All right, I wish that I was cleaner, but I'm just such a messy person, honestly. But today I'm gonna go in with this um, Glow Girl um, highlighter kit that I got from this beauty supply store called Armstrong. So clearly, as you can see, this one is just completely gone. I have used that one till it is bone dry. So now I'm gonna go in with this next one next to it right here in the middle. And you can't tell now because they all just look white, but they all have like an underlying tone and this one is really pink. So I'm going to go in with this one since it's Valentine's Day, just, just to spice things up, you know? All right, so now that I am glowing for all the Valentine's Day gods, I'm going to go in with my NYX lip pencil. And it's, I love this one. I just got it. It's super, super like easy to just glide right on. And it's in the shade Need Me. And I really, really love that. I look like I have a mustache. <laughs> oh my god, my lips are so, so dry from this matte lipstick. And it's so, so cold in Arizona where I live right now. I cannot wait for it to be summer. I'm literally dying. Alright guys, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow, which is the <laughs> for this video, so I'm super, super excited because I went into Ulta the other day to get lip liner, just one, just one $6 lip liner, and I came across this bad boy, which has been out of stock in the Ulta in my area for freaking ever, and it's always sold out online, and I also just like buying stuff in person like this, especially because I just don't like to wait for it, especially when I want makeup, I want it right now, honey, so yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my professional primer again, and I use this on my lids to prime my eyes. I don't know if that's a normal thing, if other people do that or not, but it's primer, so... Okay, so I'm gonna use my iconic little um, dollar elf brush from Walmart and I'm gonna start by using this really, really light pink. I don't know if it's actually coming up on camera, if it's pink, but it's like a really, really, really light blush color, like 
nude pink and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I don't have the little sheet that goes over it with the names, but I believe this one's Pinkity Drinkity. And it's my favorite. I am just living for it. I love pinks on my eyes for some reason. And it just is the like the best base for this look. And all of his shades are so buildable, like it's an insane. Um, Morphe in general is great, but also James, I just love you. I really do, sister. So I'm just going to start by taking that light pink color and just blending it into my crease area. I have mirrors all around me, so sorry if I'm like looking in different places. There's one over here, there's one right here, and I also look at the screen just to check and make sure that I'm looking good from every angle, which... I don't know that we could really call this looking good yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with, it's the same brush, but I just have two of them. So um, I'm going to use this one now. I'm going to go in with this gorgeous hot pink down here at the bottom corner. Um, this one is very, very pigmented. And um, somebody told me that it stained your eyes and I did not believe them, but... It does. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to take this, the same brush and the same hot pink color and just drag that underneath the waterline. this really dark purple right here and just kind of take that into the outer corner as well. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the purple on the other eye off camera just to speed things up for me because like I said, I am on my way to work. So now that that's through, I'm going to go ahead and take this little teeny brush that's also an elf brush. Um, you know, I think for the price and the quality, it it does its job. So whatever. You can hate on it all you want. And I'm just going to um, use this brush and dip it into my concealer to create a little oval shape on my lid. All right, so now that I have drawn on that little oval shape, I'm going to be taking this little brush right here. I'm gonna try not to mess this up by looking up, but this little brush right here, and I'm going to dip it into the same highlighter that I used on my cheeks and apply that onto the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I used for the pinkity drinkity. I wiped it off and I'm gonna use the hot pink at the bottom again and just kind of take that and blend this towards the inner middle. Okay, so as you can see, I obviously did the other eye off camera again, but yeah, just press for time, like I said. So anyway, moving on, I'm gonna grab my brow powder
right guys, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little Wet n Wild eyeliner right here and I'm going to just go ahead and go in and just do a little subtle wing a little bit bigger on the outer corner and then getting slimmer towards the inside just to like really really make my eyes pop. Okay, almost done. All right guys, so now I'm gonna move on to putting on my lashes really quickly. Um, I have them in this little box over here, but they are Ilore, and I forget like the like their like name, but I believe it starts with an M. It's like mesquite or mask masquerade. No, I don't know. It's something like that. I can't remember right now, but they're my fave. <laughs> So now that the lashes are on, this is the completed look, you guys. Um, let me get a little bit close up for you guys so you can see. I love how all these colors blend together. I love how the eyelashes make my eyes pop. Just everything is just such a look for me. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see part two to this video where I do my hair, then please give this a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It would really, really mean a lot to me. I have a lot planned for this channel, and I am excited to see you guys soon. So stay around for that.